Practice and homework lesson 4.6. Division and the distributive property. Find the quotient. So we know quotient means to divide. So we, in number one, we have 54 divided by three. Well, if we take 30 divided by three and 24 divided by three, these equal to 54 when you add them together. 30 divided by three is 10 and 24 divided by three is eight. So you add those together and it's 18. Number two, 81 divided by three. So if we say that it's 60 and 21, those two added together equal 81. So we could do 60 divided by three is equal to 20. And 21 divided by three is equal to seven. So we add these two numbers together and it equals to 27. Number three, 232 divided by four. So we can get 232, that equals to 232. And so we get 200 divided by four, which is equal to 50. And then if we get 32 divided by four, it equals to eight. And when we add these together, it equals to 58. Number four, 305. Well, if we get the number 305, and we divide that by five. 300 divided by five is equal to 60. And five divided by five, five, divided by five is equal to one. And we add these together, and it equals to 61. Number five, 246 divided by six. Well, the 200, we have 240 and 6. So if we add those, or we divide that by 6, it is equal to 240 divided by 6 is equal to 40. And 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. So we add that together, and it equals to 41. Number 6, 69 divided by 3. So we get 60 and 9. Divided by 3, divided by 3. 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. And 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Add that together, equals to 23. Number 7, 477 divided by 9. Well, we can get 450 and 27. We'll add those together, equals to 477. We divide that by 9, and we get 450 divided by 9 is equal to 50, and 27 divided by 9 is equal to 3. We add those together, and we get 53. Problem solving. Number 8. Cecily picked 219 apples. She divided the apples equally into three baskets. How many apples are in each basket? So it's asking us how many apples are in each basket. She has a total of 219 apples, and she wants to divide those evenly into three baskets. So we have 219 divided by three. So we can make 219 become 20, 210 and nine, and divide this by three, divide this by three. This is equal to three. And 210 divided by three is equal to 70. So we add those two together and we get 73 apples. Number nine. Number nine. Jordan has 260 base basketball cards. He divides them into four equal groups. How many cards are in each group? So it, we're ask, it's asking us how many cards are in each group. So there are a total of four groups with 260 basketball cards in total. So it's 260 divided by 4, and 260, we can put those into two different numbers, and we can do 240 divided by, or and 20, because when you add those together, you get 260, so we divide that by 4, 240 divided by 4 is equal to 60, divide 20 by, by 4, and we get 5. When we add those together, we get 65, so 65 cards. Number 10. 
The Wilsons drove 324 miles in six hours. If they drove the same number of miles each hour, how many miles did they drive in one hour? So it's asking us 324 divided by six. 324, we can put that into a 300 and a 24. Can we add those together? It will equal to 324. 24 divided by six is equal to four. And 300 divided by six is equal to 50. So 50 plus four is equal to 54 miles. Number 11. Phil has 189 stamps to put into his stamp album. He puts the same number of stamps on each of nine pages. How many stamps does Phil put on each page? So it's asking us how many stamps does Phil put on each page? And there are nine pages in total with 189 stamps in total. So 189 divided by 9, 189, we can put those into two numbers. We can do 180 and 9. 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1. 180 divided by 9 is equal to 20. So we can add 20 and 1, and we get 21 stamps. Number 12. Explain how to use a distributed property to solve 48 divided by 3. Include a model to support your explanation. So, a possible answer could be, turn 48 into 30 and 18. Then divide the number into 10 and 6 when you divide it by 3. Then add the numbers to get 16. So, in the model on the right, you can see it's 3 on this side, 30 and 8. When you add 30 and 18, you get 48. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. Lesson check. Number one. A landscaping company planted 176 trees in eight equal rows in the new park. How many trees did the company plant in each row? So it's asking us how many trees did the company plant in each row? There are 176 trees and eight equal rows. So we divide 176 divided by 8, but we can turn 176 and make it into 16 and 160. So 160 divided by 8 is equal to 20, and 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. Add that together and equals to 22 trees. Number 2. Arnold can do 65 push-ups in 5 minutes. How many push-ups can he do in one minute? So it's asking us how many push-ups can he do in a singular minute? And we know that he does 65 in five minutes. So 65 divided by five. You could also do 50 and 15. 50 divided by five is equal to 10. And 15 divided by five is equal to three. So we get 13 push-ups. Spiral review. Number three. Last Saturday, there were 1,486 1, people at the Cineplex. There were about the same number of people in each of the six theaters. Between which two numbers does the number of people in each theater fall? So, it's asking us which two numbers the number of people in each theater fall in between. So, there are about 1,486 in total. And there are six theaters. So, it's 1,486 divided by six. We know that six times two hundreds is equal to one it's equal to twelve hundreds which is the same as saying one thousand two hundred and we know that six times three is equal to eight teen or eighteen hundreds or eighteen one thousand eight hundred so between the two numbers does the number of people in each theater fallen we can say about 200 or 
300 people. Number four, Nancy walked 50 minutes each day for four days last week. Jillian walked 35 minutes each day for six days last week. How does the total number of minutes that Jillian walked compare to the total number of minutes that Nancy walked? So it's asking us the to how the two total number of minutes that each person walked, how do they compare? So let's start with Nancy. She walked 50 minutes for four days. So it's 50 times four, which is turns into 200. And then Jillian walked 35 minutes in six days or four six days. So 35 times six, that's equal to 210. So if we get the two numbers and we wanna compare, we can simply just subtract the two numbers. So 210 minutes time minus 200 minutes, that's 10 minute difference. So we can say that Jillian walked 10 minutes more than Nancy in total. Number five, three boys share 28 toy cars equally. How many cars did each boy get and how many were left over? So we are being asked how many cars each boy got and what were the leftovers or what was the, what was the remainder? So it was 28 cars in total between three boys. So we can do three circles, which each represent a boy, and we can divide that. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So that's 27. So there are nine toys with each boy with a total of 27. Well, we have 28. So if we get 28 minus 27, we get the remainder of one. So we can put as our answer, nine toys with one left over. Number six, an airplane flies at the speed of 474 miles per hour. How many miles does the plane fly in five hours? So it's asking us how many miles does the plane fly in five hours? So in one hour, it's 474 miles. So we can multiply 474 times five. Four times five is 20, carry the two. Five times seven is 35, plus two, 37. Carry the three. Five times four is 20, plus three is 23. So we get the total of 2,370 miles. So we get 2,370 miles.